Hey guys, it's Tammy. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a Halloween tutorial. I am going to show you guys how to achieve this cat look using all New Look makeup. I would like to thank New Look for working with me and sponsoring this video. Everything I'm wearing is from New Look. My nails, my dress, the cat ears, the makeup is all from New Look and can be found on newlook.com. So I hope you enjoy this video and find some Halloween inspiration. Let's jump straight into it. Okay girlies, let's get started. So first I'm going to start by placing this cute little cat ears from new look on my head of course to hold my hair out of my face but it will also add to the outfit later super cute now first we're going to start with priming because we want this makeup to last all night and not get oily so i'm using the mattifying makeup primer which looks like this and i'm just applying that to the center of my face where i tend to get oily so we're going to start with the face today, perfecting the skin first before we move on to the eyes and the lips. So first I'm going in with the No Shine Mattifying Foundation and I do have two colours here called Caramel and Rich Tan so we shall see which one works for me. So this is how the foundation looks, it comes in a frosted bottle and it does have a pump. So here we have the colour Rich Tan and then here we have the shade Caramel so I think for my skin tone a mix of both of them will be perfect for me and I love that it's a No Shine Foundation because I do get very very oily throughout the day. So now I'm going to go in and blend it in with a brush. The coverage is amazing. So that is the foundation applied. As you can see, it is a gorgeous coverage. It's covered all of my scarring completely. I absolutely love this foundation so far. So we're going to move on to eyebrows now. For eyebrows today, we're going to use this eyebrow powder pen and it is the shade dark brown. So it comes with a kind of powder brush on this side and then it comes with a brush to actually brush through your brows on this side. And because of course we're going for a cat look, you do want them to kind of be bushy and really kind of natural looking. So small strokes should do the job. And also brush the hair upwards. That really helps with the cat-like effect. And this brow powder is actually really easy to use. I think you get the product from inside the lid. So as you press the brush in there, it picks up more product. Then to complete the eyebrows, I'm going to go in with the Brush On Brow Gel, which actually contains fibres, so it should grip onto the hairs and make them extra thick and long looking. Okay, so when it comes to a cat look, the main attraction of the face, apart from the nose, is the eyes. You want a gorgeous cat eye wing liner. So for that, I'm going to go in with the Flick Dip Eyeliner, which looks like this. And then you just want to give that a second to dry. Okay, then next I'm going to go in with the four shade eyeshadow palette and this is the shade Smoke. So I'm going to be dipping into this black shade right here and I'm going to be smudging out this wing. So I'm going to take some of that black shade and just start blending it across the outer edge and diffusing the wing. Then once I'm happy with how it has smoked out, I'm gonna go in with a dab of the purple color as well and kind of blend that right on the edge to diffuse the black. But you definitely wanna keep that wing eyeliner shape because when you open your eyes, it gives you that cat-like cat effect. You don't have to worry about any mess on this bit right here because we will clean it up with concealer after. Okay, so the next step is mascara and eyelashes. So I'm gonna be using the No Smudge Waterproof Mascara, which has a cool flexible wand, as you can see. Okay, so for lashes, I'm going to be stacking. I'm going to be using the high definition false eyelashes as well as the extreme length false lashes from New Look. Okay, guys, so lashes are on. The most important step after this is to go back in with the eyeliner and make sure you cover that lash band. So you just go straight over the lash band with the eyeliner. So next, I'm going to move on to concealer and I'm going to use the Cover and Protect Concealer Crayon, which looks like this. And this is the shade Natural Tan. It's like a huge jumbo concealer and I'm going to use this to clean up my wing as well as highlight my face under eyes down the center of my nose. So starting here, I'm just going to drag upwards and clean up that wing. Now I'm going to go ahead and highlight underneath my eyes. And also I'm going to do the whole of my top lip here because as you know cats have more of a pronounced, I don't know what this area is called. And then I'm going to take my beauty sponge from New Look and just begin to blend this out. Okay. 
Okay, then once that concealer is blended out, we're gonna go in with some face powder. So I'm using the high definition finishing face powder and I'm gonna use this to brighten and bake underneath my eyes. So it looks like this and then you just unscrew it and you get a little powder puff with it as well. So I've just got a little bit of the powder out and I'm gonna dab my sponge into it and bake underneath my eyes. Now I'm also going to take the Flawless Finish Loose Face Powder in the shade Natural Tan. So this one, unlike the last one, has a little bit of colour to it. And I'm just going to use this to dust all over my face. Okay, so next I'm going to move on to contour and sculpt in the face. I'm going to use the contour powder shading kit, which looks like this. And it tells you what each powder is for. So it says step one contour, step two bronze and step three highlight. So I'm going to go in with step one contour to contour my face and sculpt. So you just want to use that around the outside of your face, so underneath your cheekbone, also your forehead, temple area, just around the outside perimeter of the face to give the face some definition. So I hope you can see from this side to this side, this side is a little bit more sculpted. For my nose contour, I'm going to go in with this cute little fluffy eyeshadow brush from New Look and I'm going to take the same shade and contour my nose. Now you do want the contour to be very prominent, you do want to be able to see it, unlike on a normal day, you don't want anyone to kind of see the lines, you want them to see it today. And you carry this right up into your brow bone. Okay, so now we're gonna complete the rest of the eyes. We're gonna do the lower lash line. So I'm gonna start with a eyeliner, of course. So this is the eyeliner pencil in the shade black. And I'm just gonna put this all in my waterline as well as smudge it on my lower lash line. Okay, so now I'm going in with another four shade palette. This one is called Dark Nudes. The one I used before was called Smoke. This one has more of brownie nude type of colors and I'm gonna go in with this color on my lower lash line just to smoke it out. Now this bit can be very, very blown out, but I'm not gonna carry it too far into my inner corner. I'm literally just gonna do the outer kind of half of the lash line. And then also in with the black that I used on my top lash line and smoking that really close to the bottom lash line. Now for my lower lash line in a corner, I'm gonna do a little line using the eyeliner, going from my lash line down towards my nose. Now when you're doing this, you want to look directly into a mirror like this and do it like that so you can see exactly where the line is going. So it's gonna be very hard for me to record this part, but I will do this eye and then show you how it looks. Okay, so it should look something like that. It will look a lot better once we get our inner corner highlight on as well. So I'm gonna do the other eye quickly. And then what you wanna do is take the brown shade and smoke underneath that line we just created to pretend like it's still our lower lash line and we're just going to smoke all the way along and you also want to take the black shade and start smoking that underneath here as well okay so now that we have created a new inner corner i'm going to go ahead and highlight my inner corner and i'm going to use the metallic liquid eyeliner which looks like this and this is the color of it so it's kind of like a goldish silver color So it should look something like that. Now let's do the other eye. So last but not least for the eyes, of course, you wanna go in with some mascara on your lower lash line. So to create the cat nose as well as the whiskers, I'm gonna use two products. I have the Dramatic Jumbo Eyeliner Pen, which is like a huge felt tip pen. And then we have the Graphic Angled Eyeliner Pen, which looks exactly the same, but it has a different brush tip. As you can see, this one has a angle. It will be really good at creating the lines around the nose. So we're gonna use the Graphic one for the nose right now. So you wanna start from the tip of your nose and take it down to the edge and then do the other side as well. And then to fill it in, I'm using the liquid eyeliner. And you do wanna fill it out entirely, including the bottom of your nostrils. Okay, then next you wanna take the liquid liner and draw a straight line straight in the middle of your lip right here. To make sure the nose is locked in place, we're gonna go in with the black eyeshadow and just tap on top. Okay, then I'm gonna outline my top lip using black. I'm gonna use the liquid liner mixed with the dramatic liner pen. And then once I get to the end here, I'm just gonna drag it out slightly. And now I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Okay, so it should look something like that. Now I'm gonna go back in with this black eyeshadow shade and dab over it to make sure it's all set in place. 
I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do for my bottom lip so I picked two lip products. I got the clear lip gloss as well as a matte metallic liquid lipstick. So I'm going to try the clear gloss on for you guys and then we will switch to the metallic liquid lipstick. That way you can know which one you want to go for for your look. This smells delicious. Okay so here we have the look with a clear gloss on the bottom lip. I hope you like it. I really, really like it. It goes really cute with the look. And while I'm here, I completely forgot to highlight. So I'm gonna go in with the strobe highlighter kit. And this is what it looks like. And I'm gonna take this gorgeous shade right here. It's a gorgeous everyday subtle highlight, but it glides over the skin. It's not highlighting my texture. That is a beautiful everyday highlight. Then I'm gonna take a small bit on a little eyeshadow brush and just do down the center of my nose. So now we're going to try the matte metallic lip and this is the shade Athena. I'm going to go back in with the liquid eyeliner and do dots on either side and whiskers. Okay, so now the dots have been applied, we're going to go ahead and add the whiskers. I'm going to do three little whiskers on each side. Okay, so that is the completed cat look, but if you would like to turn yourself into kind of like a cheetah cat, then of course you need to add the kind of spots. So I'm gonna be doing that now, but this would be the final step if you wanted it to look like a typical black cat. But I am gonna be adding the cheetah dots using the liquid liner and the metallic matte liquid lipstick. So for this, what you wanna do is kind of C shapes in different shapes. So big C shapes, little C shapes, just kind of random semicircles. And they can, of course, go in different directions. So I'm just gonna do like half of my forehead. Okay, so once you're done, it should look something like that. Then you wanna take the liquid lipstick, the metallic one that we used on our bottom lip, and just dab inside that circle. Okay guys, so that is the final look using New Look Makeup. I would just like to thank New Look one more time for working with me on this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and found some inspiration for Halloween. If you did, please go ahead, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.